I mean, maybe they're jealous that he's still whooping butt with only one ball. That's a clown question. I do not pick my team based on the colors that they wear or how those colors look with my skin tone. Have you ever pitched a perfect game? What are sports if they're not like intensely personal? Welcome to the Olympics edition of the Sports Lady. Now, I know there's been a lot of stuff going on in the world of sports, with Nash going to the Lakers and Allen going to the Heat, but I promised my friend Curb Dog that I would do an Olympics edition of the Sports Lady so that she, a very busy mother of two, could know what to watch for the Olympics. I had an epiphany over the last two weeks because, you know, my real job is not sports related, and it's... um taken up quite a bit of my time. So I haven't really been able to talk or watch or listen or learn as much about sports in the last two weeks. But the upside to having the job that I do is I might be going to London in a couple weeks, which I just realized means I would be in London during the Olympics. If I'm in London during the Olympics and had one event, one thing I could go to, what would I go to? Hands down, without a doubt, I would go watch Michael Phelps swim. I have no idea why I love Olympic swimming so much because first of all, I'm a terrible swimmer. Terrible doesn't even begin to describe the lack of swimming ability that I have. We went to Australia a couple of years ago and I reluctantly went into the ocean because there are giant great white sharks that eat people in the ocean. I ended up getting caught in this weird tide thing and almost drowned. And then I finally got myself to shore and proceeded to cry for about 10 minutes because I thought I was gonna die. I was probably nowhere near dying um, and maybe was slightly melodramatic in how the events unfolded. So I think maybe I respect swimmers more than most athletes because it's a sport that I would never, ever, ever, ever have pursued. And swimming is also really gratifying to watch because there's these little short bursts of activity that only take like 25 seconds to watch and it's like an intense 25 seconds, right? You get like a lifetime worth of sports viewing smushed into 30 seconds. The most appealing part of swimming now is to watch Michael Phelps swim. I mean, he has 14 gold medals. So in Beijing, he broke seven world records, eight American records, and eight Olympic records. So there's a good chance if you get to watch Michael Phelps swim, you're going to see something amazing happen. Kurt, set your DVR to any of the swimming events. They start July 28th. They're early in the Olympic Games, so they're July 28th to August 3rd. And the best part is because the races are so short, when you DVR back through them, it's over like that. I love watching beach volleyball. So I'm not sure if I'm a little biased because Carrie Walsh and Misty May Trainer are actually my age. So to see women in a sport who are my age and moms still whooping butt, like I really dig that. So they as a duo won gold in Athens and in Beijing and are gonna try again in London. This could feasibly be the last year that we see a men's Olympic basketball team in the way we have for so many years since the dream team started. How many times outside of an all-star game when we know it really doesn't count anyway, do we get to see some of our best basketball players on the same team fighting, you know, unified and fighting for the same cause? Coming back to swimming on the leaderboard, I'm talking about Dara Torres who, while she didn't make it this year, she's the first American to have gone to five different Olympic Games. She's won 12 medals, four of them gold. And this comes in between several like retirements and then coming back. One time she took seven years away from the sport and then came back. She's had the continued success that only comes from being driven and dedicated and willing to make sacrifices. We actually have two stats this week. Lou is working overtime. He's napping now because it was just too much for him. For the first time ever, Saudi Arabia is going to send two female athletes 
to the Olympics. And for the first time ever, the United States Olympic team will have more female athletes than male athletes. In 1996 at the Atlanta Games, 26 countries didn't even send female athletes to the Olympics. And now 40% of the athletes participating from all the countries are women. In this week's Woe Man Up, I'm calling out Tyler Clary, who qualified for his first Olympic Games, finishing 1.5 seconds behind Michael Phelps in the 200 fly. But here's, congratulations for that, Tyler, by the way, that's an amazing accomplishment. Here's what I got a beef with. Then he goes and he bad mouths Michael Phelps because Michael Phelps doesn't have a strong enough work ethic and doesn't train hard enough. I'm gonna read you what he said. I think the things he could have done if he worked as hard as I do would have been even more incredible than what he has pulled off. Hello, ego much. If he worked as hard as you do, the man has won more gold medals than any other Olympian in the history of our country. It's a whole lot easier to judge Michael Phelps' work ethic, Michael Phelps' commitment to the sport, Michael Phelps' behavior outside of the pool when you're not Michael Phelps. So Tyler Clary, I hope you win a gold, at least one, so maybe you have a tiny bit more credibility to start bad-mouthing Michael Phelps.